Welcome back. Now, in just a moment, we're going to be discussing the protests in South London over the weekend. But first, I'd like to reflect on what this means for women. Now, last week should have been a time of celebration. It started with International Women's Day on Monday and it finished with Mothering Sunday. But instead, it was a week filled with turmoil and tragedy. The case of Sarah Everard has highlighted how many women feel unsafe on our streets and the protests at the weekend revealed just how angry we are about it. And we are angry because Sarah could have been any of us. She could have been your friend, your mother, your sister, your daughter, a colleague, a neighbour or even your partner. And as women, we are acutely aware that Sarah Everard could easily have been us. Sarah tried to protect herself. She wore bright, identifiable clothing. She wore trainers. She texted her partner to tell her where she was going and she walked along a bright and busy street, but still, she ended up dead. We cannot protect ourselves alone. Society must change. And that takes every single one of us. Whatever you think of the scenes in London this weekend, please take time to hear women's stories and really listen. Because the fear and the sorrow that many of us feel will not end until we work together. A woman had to face her first Mother's Day yesterday without her daughter. She's not the first. So let's work together so that Sarah's death is the last of its kind.